Your breakfast is about to get a whole lot easier and tastier too. Today I'm showing you four of my favorite small batch granola recipes that are made with simple ingredients, are so easy to make, and deliver amazing flavors. You'll never go back to store-bought granola again. Each of these wonderful granola recipes are incredibly delicious and easy to customize with ingredients you may already have in your pantry. Packaged granola is often loaded with lots of sugar and unhealthy ingredients to extend their shelf life. Homemade granola is granola in its purest form. So let's get started with a small batch of buttery and nutty butter pecan granola. Here's what you need. Preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large bowl, combine one cup of old-fashioned oats, a quarter of a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, a half of a cup of chopped almonds, a half of a cup of chopped pecans, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Next, melt three tablespoons of butter in a small pot over medium heat. Stir in two tablespoons of maple syrup. Remove the pot from the heat and stir in a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Pour the butter syrup mixture over the oats and nuts and stir until well blended. Pour onto a rimmed sheet pan. Cook for 30 minutes, stirring every 10 minutes to encourage even toasting. Remove from the oven, cool, and then transfer the granola to a container to store. Mm, this granola is so buttery, but think of this recipe as a basic granola recipe and change it up if you like. Just keep the amounts of nuts and spices you use the same, but change out the nuts, change out the spices to ones you love. The second small batch granola recipe is one that's great to enjoy during the fall months, but I actually make it year round. It's our perfectly spiced pumpkin spice granola. Here's what you need. Heat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large bowl, combine one cup of old fashioned oats, a half of a cup of chopped walnuts, a half of a cup of pumpkin seeds, a quarter of a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Next, melt two tablespoons of butter in a small pot over medium heat. Stir in two tablespoons of maple syrup and two tablespoons of canned pumpkin puree. Pour over the dry ingredients and make sure the nuts and oats are well coated. Then pour onto a rimmed sheet pan and spread the granola across the entire pan. Bake for 30 minutes, stirring every 10 minutes. Remove from the oven, cool, then transfer the granola to a bowl or into a small container. Wow. You really taste the flavors of fall in this granola. AJ, would you come taste it? Now you can have this as a snack by itself at night while you're watching shows. Mm -hmm. Which we do. Or breakfast, which we do a lot. This is great. <laughs> mm. Great. Really great. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. By the way, in every recipe on our website, we list ways to use leftover ingredients, whether it's pumpkin, oats, or coconut. You can find a link to those recipes in the description below. Also, pumpkin puree freezes well, so you can either store it in an airtight container or portion it into Ziploc bags and the amount you want to use for a recipe and keep it in the freezer. It'll last up to three months. The third granola recipe is one of my favorites. It's a small batch of gingerbread granola. The aroma of this granola baking in the oven will fill your home with the magical scent of the holidays. Here's what you need. Preheat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large bowl, combine one cup of old-fashioned oats, a half of a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, a half of a cup of chopped walnuts, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground ginger, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. Next, melt two tablespoons of butter in a small pot over medium heat. Stir in two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons of molasses, 
and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Remove the pot from the heat and stir in a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. Pour the maple syrup mixture into the bowl with the oats and nuts and mix well. Pour onto a rimmed sheet pan and spread the granola mixture across the entire pan. Bake for 30 minutes, stirring every 10 minutes. Remove from the oven and cool. I'm gonna take a taste. The flavors are fantastic. The spices are subtle, it's crispy, filled with so much flavor. I'm actually gonna keep eating it off the tray. I love the clumps. Look at that. Oops. Mm. Our final granola recipe is a fresh apple granola made with just one apple. It's perfectly spiced with touches of cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves, and it tastes just like an apple pie. Here's what you need. Heat the oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. In a large bowl, combine one cup of old-fashioned oats, a half of a cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, a quarter of a cup of chopped walnuts, a quarter of a cup of chopped almonds, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. In a small pot on medium heat, melt two tablespoons of butter and stir in a quarter of a cup of maple syrup and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Remove from the heat and stir in a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. Pour the butter syrup mixture over the oats and nuts mixture and stir until well blended. Fold in one cup of diced apples, which is one medium sized apple. You can peel the apple or leave it unpeeled. Pour onto a rimmed sheet pan and spread the granola mixture across the entire pan. Bake for 40 minutes, stirring every 10 minutes. Remove from the oven and cool. This really does taste like an apple pie. And any of these granolas would make a really great gift. Be sure to check out these great videos and click below to like and subscribe. And let us know what your favorite granola recipe is in the comments below. At One Dish Kitchen, cooking for one is all we do. Bye for now.